Raven wants to fly straight. She wants to fly. Welcome back. The Raven, working on the Raven. Putting more tubes on the airplane. We're doing a lot by hand now because we've got a lot of different fitments. One thing that I want to explain that I didn't really explain a lot in the last three videos is jigging the airplane before you start measuring and cutting. So as I showed you guys before, this is the jig that's holding the fuselage in place where it needs to be. So the geometry is all the same when this thing is welded back together. That's really important because it sets the angle on, on the engine mount so that the engine is sitting at the same angle that it was before. It also sets the angle up on the cabane for the top wing to slide into place. So this being held in place is very important because if you're cutting tubes that aren't going to the right place, because if this isn't held in place correctly when you're making the tubes, what am I trying to say here? How do I explain this? Everything needs to be where it's supposed to be. If this moves this way, this will move that way. So if this can't move this way, and this can't move this way, then neither can move any way. That's what you want. I needed the very forward edge of the first cross member station zero on the plans. 34 inches back from that is where the center of the tube cluster should be. Those were the two points that I... Can you see me? Can you see me? Uh, so those are the two points that I kept intact to build everything in between. It's a one inch cross member in the front, it's a seven eighth cross member at station 34. All I did was measure out zero, 34, and then I just put it on the chop saw and put the cuts to the inside of the mark. Fine tune that puppy, then hold the other side in place. So, as we're adding tubes here, we're making a little gap so the jig is out of the way of the cross members. We just took a four inch hole saw to that and give it plenty of clearance. Let's see if I can do this. Let's zoom out. Zoomage. This jig here is holding the two upper cabane struts when the top wing is put back on the fuselage. It'll slide right into place and it'll have the correct incidence and and all that happy crap. So this is basic. This is this is easy. A couple pieces of wood to hold it into place. Jigging can be more complicated, but also that much more important. I'll throw a couple pictures at you. Sometimes you need to weld the jig together before you can weld the thing that you're welding that's on the jig. It gets a little cumbersome because it feels like you're doing two or three times the amount of work. This is from a little while ago, but we were rebuilding the tailwheel assembly on one of our crop testing airplanes. It was a spring tailwheel, and uh, this is what I had to fabricate um, to hold that thing in place. You gotta do it. Make a precise jig. You feel me? You gotta do it. You gotta believe. You have to believe. Take the time to make a jig. Don't freestyle it. Freehand it. Freeball it. Freestyle it. Don't free willy it. Willy nilly it. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't do it. Make a jig. Make a jig. I know I don't need to tell you that. I don't need to tell you. But make a jig. Just do it. If you were thinking about, you know, maybe I shouldn't. Do it. I think that's all I have to say about jig making. If this is the first episode you watched, watch the rest of them. Check it out. I think that's going to wrap it up for this Raven episode. See ya!